Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Welcome to this video. We're solving logarithmic equations. All right, we're looking for equal expressions in order to be able to write an equation somehow and solve for the variable. And what I want to point out and remind you of is we're looking for equal expressions. The base of the logarithm function must be the same. And then we can set those two parts equal to each other. But we also are looking for changing a logarithmic form into exponential form. All right, so we're going to use a little algebra and some of this knowledge here to solve some of these equations. Let's take a look. All right, I'm going to have you work on problems 13 through 16, and we'll be solving for the variable that you see there. But let me give you a hint. We are going to isolate the actual log expression, which in this case is log base 11 of n. Okay, now the key here in the secret is to do everything else algebraically to simplify the rest. So notice how it's negative 7 times that expression and we should be able to divide each side by negative 7. Now those negative 7's are going to cancel out and so I have log base 11 of n equals positive 2. And now we go back to what I showed in the previous video Let's write this in exponential form. 11 to the second power, remember the base is 11 here. The logarithm here is the exponent. And that gives me n. Well, what is 11 squared? That's right. n has to be 121. Alright, so again, the key here is isolating this log expression. Use algebra to simplify the rest. That's your starting point. All right, good luck in 14 through 15, or through 16, and come on back. All right, number 14. It's negative 9 times log 6 of m equals 9. Well, let's divide both sides there by negative 9. So log base 6 of m equals negative 1. That means that 6 to the negative 1 power equals m and that will give us 1 6. Remember negative exponents bump things down to the denominator if they are already on top. Alright so we're gonna have some negative exponents to kinda of worry about here. Alright let's look at number 15. Log base 5 of p there's your expression here and outside of that notice that you have a minus 5. So let's add 5 to each side Okay, and that will give me log base 5 of p equals negative 12. Whoops, I better double check that. That's a negative 7 plus 5, so that would be negative 2. Alright, so 5 is your base. 5 to the negative 2 power equals p and 5 to the negative 2 power is 1 over 5 squared and there you go 1 over 25 hope you're following this number 16 log base 4 of x plus 10 so let's subtract 10 on each side okay just simple algebra simplifying our expression there and so we have now log base 4 of x equals 4 That means that 4 is the base, 4 to the 4th power equals x. What is 4 to the 4th power? 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, you got it, 256. Alright, now look for some more of these examples in the next video. Thanks for watching. Alright, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. 
So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.